It's for family. Here I am in Scarborough. Um, is it the 13th today? Yeah, the 13th of July in the year 2022. I've got a young man behind me called Michael. Um, please pray for him. I've told him the gospel. I've told him that if he believes on Jesus, he will have everlasting life. Please pray for him. He's sat here. He's going to, he's going to sat here. Listen to me preach. So please pray for Michael. Please pray for me, guys. Hey, guess what happened? Um, Karina, I just put, set the speaker up here and Karina happened to be walking past just at the right time and she came up and prayed for me because I really needed this morning. I woke up with terrible back pain and um, but, but I know I must do continue this because Jesus Christ is coming and um, this world's in for a rude awakening. So I must tell them. God bless you, Scarborough. I have come here to tell you the living God loves you. I've come here to say Jesus loves you. I've come here to tell you the way to be saved, to be saved with everlasting life and to be granted a place in heaven. It doesn't come by you doing anything. You don't earn it. You don't have to work for it. It's the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Bible says that you need saving if you're not saved. Because we have all sinned, according to the scriptures. We've all sinned, and we all, and we all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God which God wants to give everybody is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And it's not about going to church every Sunday. Salvation is not about being religious. It's about having some faith and believing that Jesus is the Son of God who died for you. He shed his blood on the cross for all our sin. Our lifetime of sin when you believe, and he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you're not ashamed nor afraid to say, I need you, Lord Jesus, come into my life, and you believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, except you repent and believe this, then you will perish, which means you will land in hell if you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, the word of God tells us that God wants none to perish. God wants none to spend eternity in outer darkness in hell. And it's also written that all can be saved, no matter what you have done, if you will but believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will be saved. Please do not reject the only one that can save your soul, grant you a place in heaven, grant you everlasting life, Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ, he said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for the sheep on the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, if you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be justified, you'll be saved, you'll be sealed with Holy Spirit of promise, you'll never lose your salvation because salvation is a one-time event which happens the moment the, you truly believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. The moment you truly believe the gospel, you are justified in the sight of God. And the moment you call upon him, say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, you will be saved. 
It's that simple. God made it that simple for a two-year-old child to understand it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him, whosoever means whosoever, whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Please be a whosoever. Don't gamble with your soul. Don't take the gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is. He is the Son of God. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man shall make it to heaven but through the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a literal heaven. There is a literal hell. Just as real as this place you're walking in right now. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ will determine which one you spend eternity in. Heaven or hell. The Bible says you have the choice. You can receive that free gift of everlasting life through Jesus Christ. You can receive that gift by faith or you can reject the only one who could save your soul. Take the gamble and only find out how real hell is when you land there. I pray that you repent, which means change your mind from your own belief and believe the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone, everyone, everyone who believes, no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ because he has promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him. He's looking at your heart. He wants to, he wants to know whether or not you are going to believe in your heart what he did for you on that cross. Because the moment you believe in your heart that Jesus died for you, that he shed his blood on the cross for your sin, that he was buried, that he rose again from the dead on the third day. The moment you believe that, you'll be saved with everlasting life, sealed. You'll be justified before the God of the whole earth. But if you reject such a great free gift from God, everlasting life from Jesus Christ, then where else can you expect to go for eternity? Where else can you expect to go for eternity if you reject such a great gift everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Where else can you expect to go but hell into outer darkness where there will be weeping and wailing, where there will be gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. And all who reject the free gift of God, all who reject the Lord Jesus Christ will spend eternity there. I don't like to have to bring you this news but I have to tell you, I have to warn you the Bible says to warn, warn others about the damnation of hell. Jesus talks more about hell than he did heaven because he wanted to warn the people. He wanted to warn the people of this terrible place where people go who reject the love of the truth. And Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So please be humble enough to acknowledge that, yes, the Bible is true. We have all sinned. Be humble enough to say, of course I have sinned. We have all lied. We've, we've all cheated. Most of us have stolen. Most of us have committed fornication. We've all sinned, just like the Bible says. And the wages of sin is death. That means the eternal separation from God in outer darkness for eternity. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give you, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who paid the penalty in full on the cross for our lifetime of sin. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. Right, I'm going to stop this guy's uploading to let you know that I'm here. Thank you for your prayers, guys. I really needed it this morning. I, was, uh, I feel very nervous when I'm on my own doing this. Um, I don't know, Michael, if people are going to pray for you. Oh, there's a lot of people that are watching, I know, they will pray for you. Please pray for Michael. He's, he's listened to the gospel, and I, I think he's on the streets. And these are the kind of people that believe more than, than the average working person, to be honest. Um, the people that got saved in Jesus' day were 
not the not the not the not the righteous, not the um, you know, not not the rich and wealthy. It was mostly um, poor in spirits, the prostitutes, the corrupt tax collectors, people that knew that they needed forgiveness for their sins. The proud, people's pride stops them from entering the kingdom of God because they say, "I have got no sin." Or, I don't need a saviour. Well, they will find out one day that they do. Anyway, listen, I'm going to stop and upload, and hopefully you'll get this soon. God bless you guys. Thank you for your prayers.